Just checking on Whisper, the uh, baby stoats. And it's incredible how much she's grown in just over a week. So you can see she's just got one eye open, so that indicates she's five weeks old. She's coming on really well. Um, completely different to the animal that came in. Tiny little thing. So we'll just see how much she weighs. 64 grams. Yeah, she's just doing well. We're going to pop her in a new enclosure here now. We've got the heat mat on, but we're just going to use that just at night. It's important to keep her warm, but she's well fed and well developed. Got a nice little fat tummy. So she's got her own little sleeping bag in here and she's going to be nice and cosy in there. Development's coming on really well. Her eyes are clearly open now, but she's actually seeing now. When they first open, you know, they're quite dozy still, uh, but you can see she's really alert now and she's starting biting, testing everything as well. Um, and that's very stoty. She's starting to get the black tip on her tail, which tells us she's a stoat. So you can see uh, the line on her belly here is a clean line in between brown and white. And on a weasel, this is really jagged. Uh, so a very big difference between a weasel and a stoat is a nice straight line for a stoat. And then a weasel, it's a really jagged line. Whisper's coming on really well. Uh, she's growing really fast now. She's mainly eating meats, but I'm still giving her a little bit of milk. And that's just to stop her becoming dehydrated. And it's a very simple test. Do a little pinch at the back of the neck where she's got this loose skin and if it springs back into shape uh, hydration levels are fine uh, but she's still needing a little bit of milk but she's she will soon um, not be taking any milk and uh, and drinking but she's really got the got the hang of this now really enjoys her milk Now she's had a feed, uh, we're going to put in a bigger enclosure and uh, she's ready for it. She's starting to get more mobile and uh, she needs more space. I can see that she's really grand, but it's always interesting to give her a little way. And uh, she's a 125 grams, so uh, she's almost doubled her weight in just over a week. So once she's on meat, she really grows. This is where she's been living for the last week, but she needs more space as she grows. So we take out the sleeping bag, pop her in it. Uh, she needs things from here into a new enclosure, which is going to be in the studio. And uh, that's so she doesn't stress when she goes into the new enclosure. She's got scents that are familiar to her. So we're just going to take her upstairs and pop her in. This is a new enclosure, much bigger, uh, lots of space for her to explore in here. So we're just going to pop her in there and let her have a little run around. She's raring to go. So she's just going to have a little explore. She's going to come out of the sleeping bag, but it's important that she's got that little safe area that she knows, her sleeping bag. And uh, she's just going to come out gradually, just having a little sniff around. she's getting braver she's uh, starting to explore and that's just within a few minutes this is whisper's new enclosure now for the next while 
this is going to be really great for exploring. We've got tubes in there, we've got a sleeping bag, and we're going to put some branches in there because they'll start climbing soon. Uh, but the sleeping bag is ideal because uh, the stoke kits this age will spend most of the time still underground in tree roots or an old rabbit warren, dry stone wall all tucked away with the family and they'll just be starting to venture out at this stage, uh, starting to explore. So she's now got a little bit more space to explore, which is great. some branches to put in with uh, Whisper. Uh, she'll love climbing on these, she's getting really adventurous. So we're just gonna pop these in and see what she does. and how we're going to get her back into the wild and then someone contacted me from Norfolk they found a baby stoat in their garden and this is almost ideal they do so much better together and with a few phone calls and a bit of driving we've actually got the baby stoat here the, the one from Norfolk and we're going to put them together and this is going to be the making of these two they need company they're used to living in a large family groups so there might be seven eight in a litter and they, they need this interaction, they need to learn how to play, how to fight, how to hunt. And they can't do it with a human. So I'm going to have a look at this stoat in here. And uh, it could be a little bit lively. So there we are, exactly the same age as Whisper. This one's quite shy, so we've just got to be really careful how we handle her which is exactly the same size. This is absolutely ideal little friend for her. So I'm just gonna encourage her into the house. This is uh, like Whisper's sleeping bag. The people in Norfolk have been looking after this stoat have uh, named it Stuart, but it's a female. sort of stoats and I'm going to pop her in now with Whisper and we'll see what happens. It's going to be really interesting. So neither of these have seen the stoat before because they're both found with their eyes closed. So this is going to be a really exciting moment. Stuart on the outside and whispers inside the little cave, hiding away. <laughs> Just going to give him a little bit more space to run around. squeaking noises and she's slightly unsure about the uh, incoming but I'm sure in the next couple of hours they'll all be playing and rolling around together. They'll realise they've got a playmate rather than an intruder. So you can 
see whispers coming down a little bit now and it's like a little game of hide and seek now as they hide in each other's hats. It's going to be so hard to tell them apart because they look so similar but whispers slightly bigger. Here comes Stuart just having a little look out and we've got uh, Whisper exploring around the back. I'm sure this is going to work. Both outside exploring. And Whisper's looking a little bit unsure still, but uh, I'm sure this is going to work. Here we go, we're the meeting again. There we are. So this is it, they've been in there less than half an hour together and we've got them playing. They've realised they've got a playmate now, <laughs> which is just superb. Absolutely stunning. So instead of having to throw little teddy bears about and toilet rolls, they've all of a sudden got each other to play with. I'm so pleased the meeting with Stuart and Whisper went well. It's always been my plan to release Whisper back into the wild and with the companionship that they have together they stand so much better chance because they can learn from each other. Whisper and Stuart have been doing really well in, the, in this enclosure but they're getting really active now, they're climbing, they're fighting, they're playing and they're really ready for the next part of their development which is going outside into the release enclosure. Whisper I've got her very young so she's really still quite connected to me but having Stuart in here is going to be her key to rewilding so uh, after today we're going to be pretty hands off with her. Uh, but you can see she's still looking at me as a parent figure and we've got to change that. We've got to get her now thinking more stoked and less human. So moving them is quite tricky. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I've got the sleeping bag in there and I've also got a, a box for them. So we've got to catch them one way or another. Stuart's uh, gone to hiding underneath an old carpet at the bottom of the enclosure. But I think Whisper's going to be a really easy one to get. But uh, Stuart's going to be a lot trickier. So we're just going to catch them up now, gather them up and get them outside. There we go, we've got Whisper, that was a very easy catch, so she can just go in the box now. And now I've got to catch a Stuart, this is going to be the trickier one, uh, hidden underneath the carpet.
that's it. We've got Stuart in a sleeping bag now, which is ideal, so I don't need to touch Stuart because uh, I think Stuart would bite me by this stage because it hasn't been uh, handled much at all recently. So, uh, yeah, so we're just going to pop them in the sleeping bag together. Just pop Whisper in there as well. There we go. I've got both stoats in the bag now. I'm just going to take them out to the uh, new enclosure. This is where we'll be living for the next few weeks, outside in this really large enclosure. And it's got a double door on it, so they can't uh, escape when I'm getting in because they're very fast uh, little creatures. So I'm just going to pop them in there now. So I'm going to put the stoats into the nest here, but they've got loads of places to explore here. We've got the dry stone wall here at the back. We've got old branches that they can climb up. Well, this is going to be the important area for them. There's going to be a nest in here uh, and I'm going to put the hat in because it's important to take this from the old enclosure to the new one. We've got a little nose poking out of here now, so they want to be out. So I'm going to put them in the nest and uh, they're going to have a lot more space to play. So this nest is going to be a really important area for them. This is going to be their main area to rest and sleep. So I'm just going to put them in there in the sleeping bag and uh, we'll then leave them to it. There we go. That's going to be their new uh, nest for a while there. So that's them safely in the nest, so I'm going to pop the lid back down. So this is the next part of their adventure and we're watching them really closely because we've got hidden cameras in here, so we'll be able to see how they get on. I introduced two rescue stoats into this enclosure back in June and I'm just heading in to see how they're getting on. Whisper and Stuart were introduced into this enclosure and this is a great place to watch their development because we've got hidden cameras all over in here. At first they were really nervous when they came into here but I put some bedding in here that was from their indoor enclosure and they soon settled down and then started exploring these uh, dry stone walls which is fabulous. Stuart was cautious, just popping her head out of the wall, sniffing at the air. Whereas Whisper's much more confident, straight out exploring a new enclosure. Whisper looks back at Stuart, almost trying to give her a bit of confidence. So Whisper encouraged Stuart out to explore this uh, new enclosure. Over the next few days they became more and more confident and started playing in this enclosure which is just fabulous to see. Having these two stoats in here together was absolutely fabulous because that's the way they learn, they learn from each other. Usually they'll be out in the wild with a really big litter so they learn by fighting, by playing, by following the mother but they had each other in here which was really great. had each other to learn how to pounce. And their climb. Uh, so that was absolutely great to see. It was great to see some rivalry between the two kits. Whisper had some food and a hungry Stuart tried stealing it. So this is a nest I made for the uh, stoats and this has been a really safe haven for them. 
and I keep topping it up with fresh bedding. And this has been a really great place to watch them playing, sleeping, uh, and just spending time in there together. I even built them a pond in the corner of the uh, enclosure and that was just to encourage their development and uh, keep them entertained. They were nervous at first with their new addition of the pond. But gradually they got used to it and started to drink and then started to play and it was absolutely brilliant watching them uh, swim around playing and fighting in the pond. It's been fabulous to watch Whisper and Stuart growing from tiny little kits into strong young stoats that we see today. So using the cameras in this enclosure, we've been able to watch the stoats really closely. And now I'm pretty confident they're ready for their next stage, which is life in the wild. Yeah, so this is the stoat enclosure, but at the moment, We've got the two stoats in here just behind me in the wall. So they're hiding away from us. So underground here, all stretching that way, I've got a massive network of tunnels designed for a badger set. So we've got lots of different chambers out here, an area that are called Badger Cave. And what we're planning to do is to lift this hatch down here. And I'm just gonna let our stoats go into the Badger Cave this evening. So that's today's plan. We're gonna try and keep them in there for a few days. So they just get used to an extra bigger area and then we're going to open it all up and let them go and that's going to be a really exciting time but we're just going to try and do this a stage at a time so i'm going to lift this grill like that simple as that and then we're going to let them uh, head out so uh, watch this evening because these stoats are going to go exploring so that night i watched the cameras closely to see how they got on whisper and stewart were inquisitive but cautious about the changes to their enclosure. Eventually, Stuart jumps over the gate to explore. After sniffing around a little, she finally enters the Badger Cave system. I watched over the next few days when the stoats explored every nook and cranny, becoming more comfortable in their new, larger home. Seeing the stoats so at ease in this new enclosure, I knew they were getting ready for their next stage of rehabilitation. So today's a really exciting day. I'm going to open up the grills here and let these stoats out. So Whisper and Stuart have been with us since they were tiny little kits. And today the stoats are going to be free to go into the wild. Just after dark, I noticed a nose peeking out of the set. Stuart was first to appear, sniffing around at the entrance. Eventually, she takes her first cautious steps into the wild. Both stoats are becoming more confident, but we're still using the shelter of the set and dash back in for safety. Whisper and Stuart stayed in and around the enclosure for about a week before setting off for their new life in the wild. 
It's been an amazing experience being part of these young stoats' lives, and I look forward to catching up with them in the future.